Priscilla here. How's everybody doing? I just wanted to show you guys kind of my new little make, I was gonna say make out corner, my little make up corner. Uh, as you know, I moved in with Jake and his brother in Jake's brother's house. And so since we all three share a bathroom, we decided that I could have my own little makeup room. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like. And also, this is, a, this is a chair that my mom bought for my little corner. I think it's really cute and it fits in perfectly. So, a little nice addition. Alright, so it's a little messy right now, so don't come for me, but I just want to show you kind of everything that I work with on a daily basis. Um, let's start over in this corner. Here's my calendar. It's just a bunch of like scenic pictures of Illinois. I thought they were really pretty, very scenic and homely for when I do my makeup. So on the left side is my makeup bag. I keep everything in there for when I travel. Um, let's see, next we have my um, clip, which I use for my hair, and this is my straightener. And then here is mirror number one. This used to be Jake's grandma's mirror that she used to like look at her hair in, do her makeup if she ever put on makeup, it lights up. And then I have this aw this new awesome um, lamp that my mom also got for me. And it has a ton of settings like office, what else, um, work, home, and it's a, a bunch of different like cool lights or warm lights. So it's really useful and it's very bright. It's LED, so works out really great. Right here, on either side of my lamp, my makeup lamp, turn it on, um, we have my eyeshadow brushes. So these are everything that I use for my eyeshadow. Um, this one I obviously use for br uh, blush sometimes. Don't use that very often, but once in a blue moon I will. Here are all the brushes I use for my face. This one is oddly enough, the one that I use the most. And the reason why it's so weird shaped is because one time in an effort to wash all my brushes in a really easy, quick way, I actually put them in the dishwasher and it's become misshapen. So I think that was a major mistake, but it got clean at least. Um, and my blush brush, my highlighter brush, my contour brush, all my brushes. Here is my new mascara. Haven't quite used up the last of my other bottle, so this is laying right here for when I need to use it. And of course, for um, inspiration, I have a little Jeffree Star photo that came in one, uh, one of his makeup uh, lipstick palettes. So I have that right there. I have my setting spray, of course. A little random stapler, not sure why that's there, but it is. My makeup wipes right here. I have them in a box so that they don't get dried out as quickly. And then if I sit down, um, here is my Vice eyeshadow palette. Which I actually, no, I didn't use it today. Never mind. I did not use it today, but it's one of my go to's. And then what I use most often for my foundation is this $5 Mally um, powder foundation. It's really tan, as you can see. It's a little bit orange, but if I put just enough on, it like removes all my blemishes and it doesn't make me orange if I don't use too much of it, which is good. My other blush broke, so this is what I'm using instead and I really like it. It's really pretty, 
rosy kind of color for blush by American Beauty. And then we have my highlighter, also by Mally, and this was really inexpensive too, so it's actually quite blinding if you use it right. I swear by this stuff, um, it's called O'Keefe's, it's lip repair, it's a chapstick. I swear to God, this stuff is like magic. In the winter, I get really crusty, really chapped lips and it saves me it saves my life and then a little hair band of course to put my hair back and then my elf contour palette so this is what the contour palette looks like i don't really use any colors besides this dark one and this kind of caramel one those are the ones that go with my um with my tan now so those are the ones that mostly fit my lifestyle. And as you can tell, I have one, two, and three mirrors. What I need to do is get this third mirror hung up on the wall, but we haven't quite done that yet. So it's just kind of sitting in the background. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for my little tour. Uh, yeah. I like it. I think it's really cute. And it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. It's perfect for everything that I need and everything that I use. So, um, this is kind of the view of the room from my chair. There's the shelves. I'll see Jake in the, in the doorway sometimes when he comes to say hi to me. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the tour. I hope you guys liked it. If you want, really quick, I'll go over the makeup that I did today, just now, um, just in case you're curious. So first off, we started with the Mally foundation. It comes in color tan. Like I said, this was only about $5, so I had to get it. And we use, whoa, sorry guys, we use this misshapen brush for this. Next, I always do my contour. So today I went in with my contour brush and I used this shade right here, more of the caramel color. Next, I go on to the blush. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's like um, a loose powder form, so I always have to be careful with it. And with that, I always use my pretty pink blush brush. I think it is so cute. And then possibly my favorite part of the whole makeup transformation is my highlight brush and for that I use Mally and it's called Stardust. And as you can tell, it gives me like a sickening glow. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I never used to wear highlighter, but as soon as I got this stuff and just kind of started playing around with it, I love it and now I can't see my life without highlighter to be honest. And then let's see what else did I do okay so I got everything out of my makeup bag that I used to create this look kind of like a natural type of look I wasn't going for anything crazy today um, I took my elf palette it's called mad for matte eyeshadow palette I like this one a lot doesn't have the names on here, but what I did first, I took, I have these really cute uh, mermaid brushes that I use. So I specifically use them for this palette. But anyway, I took this on my eyelid and then I did this around my crease, kind of the pinky coral color. And then after that, to put above it, 
I took this peachy color and just kind of blended it all together. And I think it turned out well. I love this palette. I've had it maybe about a year. It's getting close to about a year. Um, and then I took this eye, uh, eyeliner, which is my favorite ever. It's called the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny. And it's really skinny, as you can see. But it's very defining. And I like it because you can make the lines either thick or a little thinner. For thinner, when I go thinner, kind of like I did today, I feel like I feel like it makes my eyes look a little bigger, which um, is kind of cute. And then I took for my upper eyeliner, um, my liquid eyeliner, I took Revlon Color Stay liquid liner. And this is just in black. Blackest black. So that's my favorite liquid eyeliner. I also have another one in here that I used to use, but I don't use anymore. Kind of just because it used to get blotchy and it wasn't like the blackest black that it could be. So I don't use that one anymore. And then for my eyeshadow or my mascara, I use the Falsies Push Up Drama eyeshadow. And it gives me like a really extended type of I uh what are they called? Eyelashes look. So I like using that one. And then sometimes I'll go over it with um, Lash Paradise. As you can see, this one's getting kind of old, getting kind of crusty. So I normally just use that on the bottom lashes for now. Once, until it's gone completely. So I usually use them up until they're completely gone, just so I don't waste them. And then finally, to complete the look, I used one of my MAC Matte Lipsticks. This is actually one that Jake got for me for Christmas one year. It's called Twig. And it's a really pretty, like nude type lipstick. And then finally, to tie it all together to make it stay, I use my NYX Matte Finish Finny Matte. Comment what you think or how your setup is if you want to tell me how you guys set yours up and subscribe to my videos. Make sure to ring that little bell by the subscribe button just so uh, you get every update that I come out with. I've been told that you guys are missing my videos. Sorry it's been a while, a lot's been going on. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I'm glad that I'm back. So I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.